Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to our channel, please check out our other videos as this will help you understand progress on the project so far. We're currently working on the cockpit windows, which we are upgrading to bonded windows, which will be fully weatherproof and give the boat a more modern look. So let's pick up where we left off last time. So it is the next day. We dry fitted our piece of fiberglass angle into place. Uh, just use some screws just to fix that down and that's nice and strong and that's turned out really well. And then we've also cut the rear piece here and we've uh, just hot glued that into position actually because what we will need to do is we've created some uh, marks here where we're going to fix this and we're going to print some little 3D wedges because this, this angle actually sort of changes as it goes down so we're going to need different angle wedges and then we'll screw through there and we'll bond it as well so that'll be nice and strong and I think we'll probably do some glassing as well at the bottom we, we, we'll make sure that this is super strong when it's all done so what we're going to do now is I'm going to take this bottom piece out here and I'm hoping that that will be a decent template to do this side and then we can get that cut as well. Okay, so that angle is now fixed into place. Just use some screws at, I think it's 300 mil or 300 millimeter intervals all the way along here. And that's just dry fitted and that's held into place nice and securely. And then this back piece, I've just used a hot glue gun just to hold that in temporarily. And then just use the templates that we've got from the opposite side window and just check that those fit okay and those fit really well so we'll be able to use the same templates for both sets of windows which is good because that means we don't have to re-template for that side so now just going to switch gears and move over to the front and just do a little bit of sanding on the fairing that we've done for our repair on the front of this windscreen Just half an hour on that sanding and that is now looking a lot better this is really nice and smooth to the touch now all epoxied under here all of the foam core repair done and um, that is not going to rot again anytime soon and then there'll be we've got this is closed up at the front as well which is brilliant because last time uh, from manufacture it wasn't there was some gaps in here um, and then we've got our sealant that will sit on the front edge of here anyway so this is going to last many years hopefully so I think we're probably at a point where we can start to contemplate actually painting this now so we'll Alexa seal and primer all under here and the whole of our roof it's 15 degrees here today in the UK so we can start to contemplate painting this now it's just been a little bit too cold the last month or so but yeah we're getting to the temperatures now where we can start to think about getting this painted so primer all the way over the top and then black um, to finish it off and it should look really smart and looking forward to getting that done Hey everyone, back on the boat today. So last time we fitted our new fiberglass rails ready for our bonded window. And just following on from that today, I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time just making the templates for the upright. So we're gonna have these manufactured probably out of stainless steel, I think is our preferred choice at the moment. And what I've done it while I was at home in the week, I've just put together this little 
template so we've got um, this is the base the foot here and then we've got a recess which will sit over our l-shaped fiberglass profile and then we've got here this will effectively be the carrying surface for the glass but what i need to do now is cut this to length and also cut it to shape because obviously we've got the profile of the window here to follow so let's get this cut and fitted into place Okay, so our A-pillar templates are in. So we've got one that side, and we've got one this side, so we can send those off now to the stainless steel manufacturer and get those made up out of stainless steel. Unfortunately, I did make a bit of a mistake. I cut it just a little bit short, so I've had to just pop a packer in there, but it's only a template, so we're not too concerned. And overall, that's turned out pretty good and then while I've been doing that Richard has just been working on this front a pillar so we've been waiting for these a pillars to dry the one on this side is now showing 10% or less on the moisture so we're happy this one's dry so what Richard's done is he's just put a little piece of chop strand mat in here and uh, what he actually did was he let it he cut a little patch on top of the um, in the workshop and then he just put a screw through it, let it go off and just pulled it tight and then just put a little bit of resin around there. So it's just giving us like a backer really. Um, so what we're going to do now is we'll lay probably four or five layers of chop strand mat down just to, to build this out and give this some strength. And then we'll be able to then fill this here with some thickened epoxy. So this a pillar we've rubbed this down and given this a clean with acetone so that's all ready to go we've also masked across this front edge we've just got some little craters in this front molding here so we've cleaned those out acetone them and then we've just masked across here and then we've also got the other a pillar masked off and prepped as well so we'll just mix up some thickened epoxy and get that all put in
Okay, the epoxy's in. We used the West Systems microfibers and thickened that. And we made it nice and thick so that it didn't sag. And we used the slow hardener just to give us the working time. So probably leave that now for an hour or two and that should set up nicely. So while we're waiting for that, we've got this windscreen uh, wiper hole repair to do. So we'd already put a piece of glass uh, chops around that on the underside just to give us something to work to. Um, the reason we're doing this is because the hole's in completely the wrong place. It needs to be sort of over here somewhere. So um, yeah, so we're gonna fill this in. So what I want to do first is just use the uh, grinder uh, or sandpaper actually on a uh, little disc in the drill. We like these just because they give you control. We could use a grinder, but the grinder's just too too aggressive, I find. So use this and just gently just ream this out and just give us a nice chamfered edge on the on the side. And then we'll come in with some um, chop strand mat and some progressively larger uh, circles, and we'll just glass those into place. Uh, same as we did on the other side. Okay, so that's our wiper motor hole now filled with chop strand mat. That took seven layers in the end, so we just need to leave that set up, and that's nice and flush now with the surface. It's about one millimeter lower actually, so then we'll be able to pop some gel coat on there, get a bit, give it a uh, flat and polish, and you'll never know. So that'll be a really nice repair. And still waiting for these bottom parts of the A pillars to set up as well. That's still a little bit tacky. And we have got to the end of the day so it's going to be a wrap for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one